Hey everyone, hopefully you're all doing well out there today. Today what I wanted to show is uh, Google Earth. I've been using Google Earth at work and I just wanted to show this on how to digitize points and features and how you go about doing that. What we'll do, we'll start, uh, we'll just work uh, looking at this golf course and we're just going to map out in the point locations, we're going to map out sand traps in a golf course. Okay, so what you need to do is you add a place mark. And you got this floating box. And I'm going to put sand traps. There's the name. And then it's kind of odd the way this, this works. It's not like a usual GIS uh, software. Um, <laughs> you have this box floating here. And then you move the point. To the appropriate location. Kind of odd. And then you can select the icon you're going to use. You know, how about a yellow tag with a star to stay away from the sand traps? And it gives you the XY coordinates, and uh, you can change the color and the uh, opacity and so on. You can add a description if you wanted to. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to click OK for that. So up here under My Places, I've got Sand Traps. What I can do, I can either copy and paste. I'm going to go Copy, Paste. And I've got another, another one right underneath. So what I can do is I can go to Properties and move that. OK, so now I've got two. Or obviously, I could go back and use the digitize tool. And move that point to the next one. What I like to do is I like to do this copy, paste. Then I can go properties and move the next one. Okay, copy, paste, properties, move to the next one. What I was like thinking about, I'm like, okay, so I've got all these different sand traps. Really, I want them all on the same layer. So what you can do is you can use the sh hold the shift key down, highlight them all, or use the control key and highlight them individually. Right click. Combine into multi geometry. There it is. So that's, that's basically put them all in as one layer. They're not individual sand traps now. They're all on one layer. And let's say I want to save these as a KML file or a KMZ file. I can go, okay, I'm going to save that to a KML file. Okay. And then I can save it wherever I want. And uh, you can send that to whoever. You can send it all over the world. And as long as they've got Google Earth or actually on pretty much any GIS, we'll read a KML file. Okay, that was what I wanted to show today. And good luck out there. Hopefully you're all doing well. Thanks a lot.